and welcome back to my Let's Roleplay Skyrim starring Reyna. She's just warming up here by the forge. I checked into my settings and I didn't have where W-E-A-R enabled in Frostfall, so I did that and um, because I was noticing that something was missing, so. So now that is all set up, and uh, for some reason it's decided that she's uh, dizzy, uh, just because she drank a Beautiful little wine or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so she, if she stumbles and falls down, which she was doing earlier, that's the reason is she's dizzy. Um. She, um, sorry, the butterflies are just standing there. She wants to investigate the Golden Glow, or whatever it's called, estate. Golden Glow. Not that she really wants to, it's just that she feels she's being pressured to do so. She's being given this assignment by the evil Mercer and the um, Brynjolf who she's, she doesn't particularly like him too much either although she likes him better than Mercer um, so she needs to make her way to the Golden Glow Estate. She asks for directions on how to get there. And, uh, so she's heading there. <clears throat> she has her new plus one Plus one. Look, well, I'm not playing D and D. Her her sword of frost, um, that she bought, um, and uh, that's never been used. And uh, <clears throat> she's come here to scout out the area. And it's morning, and as she approaches, she thinks, Shucks, I should have done this at night. <laughs> so, um, she's just going to have a look around to see what happens, see what she can see. And she's being warned to back off, so she thinks, okay. She's not going to uh, be able to go through the front gate, that's for sure. And in this weather, swimming would not really be a good idea. The, the air is pleasant, however. But she could still get quite cold, I imagine. I have no idea what the temperature's like. She's just going to look around see if she can find another way in other than <clears throat> through the front but it looks like she might have to swim which she's not sure the water might be kind of cold uh oh she hears some wolves She's a wolf killer. Reyna, the wolf killer. Oh no. She's never killed a wolf before. But she is likes her new sword. She gives it a little kiss on the pommel because it saved her butt. And she appreciates that. <clears throat> 
So there is the infamous Golden Globe estate. Now she wondered, is that big building over there part of the estate? Or no, that's that's on the other side of the lake. Hmm. She wonders if the water is cold. <sighs> she ponders swimming across. She will uh, take off her cloak and her helmet. So where's that cloak? <clears throat> she bundles it up and sticks them in her backpack. <sighs> she thinks about maybe she should take her other clothes off and put them in her backpack too. Maybe she could keep the backpack out of the water. She's not really sure how to do this because she's never done anything like this before. Alright, she's going to give it a go. Test the water and see if it's uh, cold. It would be nice if you could, if Frostfall gave us like a reading of the temperature of the water, because obviously if someone waded into icy water, they would be able to tell if it was icy or not. Um, I can't tell. I know that it says the air is pleasant. So that's all I know really. Now let's see what uh, wet 100% air is pleasant. Okay. She's dripping wet. You can, since I have, uh, see what's the name of that mod? It's called Wet and Cold. Yeah, it shows her dripping. Ah, come on. Yeah, dripping water. Well, I'll just monitor her exposure rating and. She feels comfortable. Okay. Okay, now she's going to slip her leathers back on. She's wet, but and her exposure has dropped, but the air is pleasant, so she's probably not in too much danger. Have a 
in here and hopefully they won't Hmm. Well, this obviously doesn't seem to be the safe that she's looking for, that she's supposed to rob the safe. So far she hasn't encountered anyone in here, which she feels that's a good thing. This looks like it might be the dining hall. Lots of free food. likes free food. And then who doesn't, right? But she knows at the orphanage that the children were sometimes starved as punishment. And the food that they were given was not really all the best thing. Oh, she's still dripping water. So she likes to make sure that there's plenty of food. So she has plenty of food. She especially likes cheese.
some like meat. Oh, I didn't mean to take that. I wanted to open the sack. She thinks that she can probably sell those musical instruments. <laughs> if she's not careful, she's going to become burdened down by food. Looking for a safe. There's somebody over there. He can still only 19. I want to put more points into sneak, but it's not going up. Um, let's see. Where to put it? I guess you could put some into one hand. point for when she goes up and sneak. <clears throat> Alright, did I search that end table already? No, I didn't. Someone there? Now <laughs> Wow. 
So now she's killed what? Five people? Makes her mad that these people would attack her. She doesn't feel too badly about killing these men. They tried to kill her. They would have killed her. She knows this. But they would have killed her. blood. She wonders what's in here. Might be something important if it's guarded by a locked gate. thirsty so she pulls out something to drink uh, a water. oh look at that it made her stand up or the animation even though she's still okay uh, what lies beyond the door Find out in our next episode.